What's up, YouTube world? Hollywood here on today's episode of Hollywood's Shakespeare Sunday. Romeo and Juliet, Act 2, Scene 1. Act 2, Scene 1, A Line by the Wall of Capulet's Orchard. Prologue. Enter Chorus, Chorus, now old desire doth in his death bed lie, a, and young affection gapes to be his heir, that fair for which love groaned for and would die with tender Juliet matched is now not fair. Now Romeo is beloved and loves again alike bewitched by the charm of looks, but to his foes suppose he must complain and he, she still loves sweet bait from fearful hooks being held a foe he may not have access to breathe such vows as lovers used to swear and she as much in love her means much less to meet her new beloved anywhere but passions lend them power time means to meet temporary and extremist extremities with extreme sweet enter romeo can i go forward when my heart is here turn back dull earth and find the sentry out he climbs the wall and leaps down within it enter benvolio and mercutio romeo my cousin romeo he is wise and on my lie hath stole him home to bed he ran this way and leaped this orchard wall call good mercutio nay i'll conjure too romeo humors madam passion lover appear thou in the likeness of sigh speak but one rhyme and i am satisfied cry but i me pronounce but love and dove speak to my gossip venus one fair word one nickname for her her blind son and heir young adam cupid he that shot so trim when king kafuda loved the beggar maid he earth hareth not he stirreth not he moveth not the ape is dead and i must conjure him i conjure thee by rosalind's bright eyes by her high forehead and her scarlet lip by her fine foot straight leg and quivering thigh and demeanness that their adjacent lie that in the likeness thou appear to us and if he hear thee thou wilt anger him this cannot anger him twould anger him to raise a spirit in his mistress's circle of some strange nature letting it there stand till she had laid it and conjured it down that were some spite my invocation is fair and honest and his mistress's name i conjure only but to raise him up come he hath hid himself among these trees to be consorted with the humorous knight blind in his love and best be befits the dark if love be blind love cannot hit the mark now will he sit under the meddler tree and wish his mistress were with that kind of fruit as maids call meddlers when they laugh alone romeo that she were oh that she were an open at kikara thou a pauper and pear romeo good night i'll to my truckle bed this field bed is too cold for me to sleep come shall we go go then for tis in vain to seek him here that means not to be found that's it for today's show thanks for watching and i'll see you next time be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this video leave a comment below share this with everybody and subscribe